So, yo, what's going on? What's going on, Florida? What's going on, hip-hop world? It's your boy, Jerk Jerkins, right here on Florida Hip Hop Radio. And, yo, man, we back again. It's like we never left, man, for the, for the first time. What's going on? I got none other than. Y'all heard it all over the airways with Coke Kalina. We got Miss Coke Kalina in the building. What's going on, baby? What's going on, hey? Ah, nice. I see you brought the hat back for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Loving that. So, hey, um... I just wanted to kind of do a reintroduction of, you know, for the people that might, the, the the crazy people that wasn't, that maybe didn't listen last time or didn't watch last time. Um, I want them to kind of get to know you a little better. Okay. And then we're going to also talk a little bit about this new record we've been playing, uh, Miss Harolina. So okay. hopefully that's cool too, right? So let's start from the beginning. Um, where you from? Where you from, Coquilina? I'm from Hawthorne, Florida. Oh, okay. The yes. Hornets. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to Hawthorne. So, um... Is that where the musical journey started, or what? Did you? Um, no, uh, that's where my poetic journey started. But I moved to Gainesville when I was about fifteen. Okay. And um, I just recently moved at about thirty-one. So I've okay. been in Gainesville for a long time nice. too. You know, about fifteen, sixteen years. So that's where my journey on music started. But you said you started writing poetry. Yeah, I started writing poetry. So how old were you when you started that? Oh, I was in high school, probably about 10th grade. Um, what got you into that, into poetry? Um, I always just um, loved to write. Mm. I loved to write, and um, it just ended up to to go into poetry and other mm. things, but um, I love to write. You remember your first poem, or the first good one or whatever? Oh, you want to give, <laughs> give, give us some bars real quick? Anything good? Um... Uh, put you on the spot, then. <laughs> yeah. Give me something I'm, short. Let's, short. Yeah, let's uh, hear whatever. Let's hear a little something. Yeah, I'm in the studio, just chilling. Mm. Down the ride, and I'm willing. Ooh. Down for whatever. Yeah, my mind is peeling back. I might just stretch back a notch and put it to your head, Ooh. straight to your motherfucking dome. Don't play with me, cause I'm in the motherfucking room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we gonna talk about that a little bit because. I met you about a month or two ago. I got to know you. You come and we talk. And, um, you're always very sweet and very nice. And you're always polite. And, you know, all of those things. But when I listen to your music, especially this new record, <laughs> it's not uh, it's not the R&B lovey-dovey. It's like Ooh. I thought it was. So talk a little bit about that. Do you use this? Where's that passion? Um. That passion, where that come from? Come from relationships. Oh you know, man. Okay. Things Real like, life. Yeah. Real life. Oh. Like I'm fed up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Like well, when I got fed up that day, I just jumped on the mic and I did what I did. You know, that's okay. actually a, a nice freestyle song. Wow. Know? Yeah, I just, wow. <laughs> just, I just went at it. Mm. I'm very hot that day. Well, whoever, that, whoever this young man is, the young whoever person this is, <laughs> he gonna make sure you make a hit out here, man. Yeah, He's giving you the I tools, right? Talk about the early days, uh, the influences. Who'd you grow up listening to? Uh, who, who's your inspirations? Um, let's see here. Who did I grow up listening to? I listened to a lot of gospel. Really? Yeah. Okay. I listened to a lot of gospel. We're talking about the 90s right now? When um, you grew yeah. up in the 90s? Yeah, it was Tell good. Man, real good, um, real good gospel in the 90s, right? Mm-hmm. And a good old yeah. John P. Key, Kirk Franklin, Fred Hammond. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, what about on the R&B tip? On the R&B tip, um, just a lot of, just a lot of R&B musicians. Mm. Um, I know I used to, I listened to, um, a lot of, um, people, um, local rappers. Okay. Rappers that's out. Um, I can't, I'm not great with names. So I'm great no with problem. Names. Let's talk a little bit about that. Let's talk a little bit. Let's go there then. Uh, the local scene. Uh, mm-hmm. So you've been moving a little bit, doing a couple of shows and different things like that. Yeah. Talk a little bit about how you feel about the local scene or your, 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 how you feel about you breaking into it and, uh, and all of that. I like it. Um, I, I think I, I have a little flavor, you know. And I really like it. It's, everything is first and kind of new to me. You yeah, know, so you definitely got an originality to going on. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, everything is, is new. So I'm just adjusting to it. And I really like it. And I and I wish to do more, you know. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's talk about when you first took it from poetry 
to, I'm finna get on this mic and make some music. Talk about that. Where that decision come from? Um, I actually was just free, well, I was just writing. I was going to say freestyling, but it was like a freestyle writing thing. Mm-hmm. Um, in my room, my homeboy, I Corey, was, Corey, like, I'm sorry, Corey, he called that free verse. Oh, free verse. That's what he called. I like that, though. I like the oh, way, yeah. I like that. He called that free verse, but I like okay. that. Yeah. Okay. But I'm yeah, sorry. And, um, I just wrote a song and rrode with it, and I um <laughs> posted to my little Facebook, you know, and it's like, oh, you can rap poison. Uh, uh, you know? I, I started, you know, I started just just recording just in a car or something like that with my phone. I do everything with my phone. Really? I haven't even upscaled yet to the studio. Nice. Nice. Like hey, you can make a hit I, on that I, phone, I, man. Yeah, I, I, I've just been doing everything with my phone, so... Everything is kind of new to me, but I I can say I've been hard working at it for three three to four years. Okay, really really hard work. Um, and I'm an artist too, so a painter. So oh really? Yeah, okay. I I it's, it's I'm doing Artistic. paintings and then I'm yeah in the fashion too. Yeah, I can see yeah. I can see it all coming together. Um. Talk about the label situation. Are you looking to get signed? Are you want to do everything independent? Or what's your goals in that situation? Um, although I'm independent, I want to work with other artists and I want to work with other labels and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't mind getting signed. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. put that big machine like behind that. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get you on a billboard. So, um, so I wouldn't mind. I, I'm just. <laughs> I understand. Walking is bad. That's real. Yeah, so let's trade. move on to. Carolina. First, let's talk about the title. How'd you come up with the title? Um, I thought about the strongest drug that it could affect mm. my, the way a man, well, the way the, effect, the heart can be affected. You right, know? right, right. So, um, and the song just came to it within itself, but it's, um, it's very, very optimistic, you know, mm. son. Um, when I want you to think of heroin, I don't want you to necessarily think of the drug. I want you to necessarily think of the pain it may cause. You mm. know what I'm saying? The, the effect of it. The, yeah, the effect of, of gotcha. uh, in the nature of of, of it. You know what I'm saying? So mm. that's why I go so hard with the song too. Right. Yeah, this, uh, whoever that guy on that song, he in trouble. <laughs> but I like the way you end the song by saying, you know, it's done. It's done yeah, I, was yeah. so I love that. Was, that. that was I love that. Saying, like, I'm going to whoop your ass right now, but later, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going out my business yeah, I'm, gonna... I'm over that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't playing around, but um, I'm loving that, man. So let's talk a little bit about um, any upcoming shows or events or any upcoming new music or anything we need um, to be checking out for. music. Um, shows I'm working on, gotcha. and, um, I have my music, um, Coca-Lina and, um, Carolina. Carolina. Um, you can find it on Amazon, mm. Agome, Apple Music, um, MediaNet, Boomplay, Deezer, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube Music, Our Heart Radio, iTunes, KKBox, NetEase, Pandora, Spotify, and it, and it kind of goes on, but you can find me on most of the music apps and stuff like that. Okay, and how we lo- how do we locate you? You just type just in Coca Lina. Okay, K-O- spell, spell it for him. K O C A L I N A. Got it, got it, got it. Nice, nice, nice. So Coca Lina, I want you to talk about your goals and aspirations in five, ten, twenty years when you number one in the world and all that. Talk, talk about um what you want to do in this game. What I wanna do is be one of the greatest singers and also one of the greatest painters in the world. Mm. Um, I believe that I have the ambition and power to do so, and I, I've i been kind of marinating for a long time, mm. and I have not put in the action to do so. Mm-hmm. So that is my goal to be, and not just be, um, you know, one of the, just have one of the top this and that, but actually make a difference in the world. Mm. So I have so... Many plans. <laughs> nice. So you think you can use your music and your painting to make a change? Oh, yeah. Nice. My visual and my sound, I believe, can definitely make a change. And um, 
in the world, like mm. itself. Like I, I feel we lack a lot of love. You mm. know what I'm saying? And um, I believe love is is it's free. You know, it's it's not brought in. It's not sold. It's 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 free. And I believe everybody should be um, entitled to have love. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if we can, I don't know, but if. Wipe most of the head out of the world and fill it up with love. I mean, <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful things can happen. I love I that. I don't think it's never been done before. I think it ha it has been done many times, but not so um, consistent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With the world. So if yeah. we can just reach that top level, I believe we, we would be something magical. Honey. How'd you get into painting? Um, I actually always sketch. That was my first passion was sketching. Mm -hmm. And then I um, I started to do tattoos. And then I couldn't um, get the uh, pressure right on the skin. I'll drag the needle. Mm. <laughs> so I just used my ink um, for a picture that I had sketched. And it came out to be beautiful. Wow. And I said, oh, you know, I actually like painting. Let me mm. try this painting. Really thing. artistic. Huh? Yeah, and I was back in 2016, 17. And I've just been painting ever since. That's all right, man. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about your music. I know you reach across different genres. R&B, mm -hmm. rap, and soul, and a little bit of reggae, a little bit of everything. Talk about bringing that all together. What's that like? Um, it's, it feels good. Mm. I don't know what you would call it as far as like being in different categories, but it definitely feels good because I'm um, be able to touch different people in different um, ways, you know. Um, my whole goal is just to spread the love and just show you that there's, there's, there's some real, it's real motivation and love out there. Like, it can really... You know, just show your love. Right, right, and I love that. And the one thing about good music, everybody loves good music. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you can reach a bunch of people with good music. Um, talk a little bit about if you could, you know, go back five years ago and talk to younger Coca Lena, or even if you can, a new person trying to get in this game, a new young lady trying to get in this game, what kind of advice would you give them? Never be afraid. Mm. For the flesh is just as human as you are. You mm. never be afraid of your mm. own. Self, you know, you're one race. A lot of time we do that, so, we get in our own way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, and then I'm sorry. Go it, ahead. It, uh, um, it affect you a long way if you're afraid to just step out or afraid to do one thing. Or, or just even a thought, to afraid to put the work in, you mm -hmm. know. It can really affect you in a long way. Right. You know? Especially when you end up one day, you just one day. Yeah, I wish I would have did that. I wish I would have said that, and then it's just it's too late. Right. Yeah. I love that. Well, look, we're coming to a close. Almost at the end of the hour. I want you to... um. Any shout outs? Anybody want to shout out real quick? Want to yeah. shout out the young man in the song? He might need. <laughs> um, I wash my hands. And wash your hands with him. All right, all right, I'm gonna stay out of that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Any other anybody else? Uh, yeah, I want to shout out to my baby. All right, that's the Poshiana best one. Poshiana Lee. Okay. Okay. And Cheyenne Bonnet and um, TNT Soul Food in Hawthorne, Florida. Okay. The greatest soul food. And um, we gotta holler at them. We gotta a big shout out get to Wilson Devon, um, Rashad, my cousin. He um has been supporting my music since I was like since I first started. He nice really shout out motivation. to him, man. Yeah, he gave me the motivation, even though he probably don't even know, but he gave me the motivation to That's like good. really take off. That's you what know? I'm talking about. <laughs> so big shout out to him. Um. Shout out to Corey Thomas just for the opportunity to be able to step to be able to perform, you know, that show that day. I, I really, really appreciate that. Right. Um and shout out to everyone that, that supports me, to my brother, John Marshall that supports me, um, to my sisters, my brothers, everyone. Just everyone that supports me. I appreciate you. I love you. And Ah, what I'm talking about. Hey, much love to you, man. I appreciate everything you do. I appreciate you coming through again. Um, we always have a place for you up here. And just send us some music. We make sure we take care of everything. Yes, um, so, hey, let's get right to it, man. We got Coquilina in the building with Haralina. Hey, we're going to get right into it right now. Appreciate it, baby, for coming through again. Okay. Don't go nowhere, y'all. Keep it right here for the Hip Hop Radio.